Racing pretty good start too. Away quickly out wide as Dunfool and with rolls and rolls and also showing speed now. Cloudy Range booting up on the fence. Marquita Expo on the outside. Shadow Warrior gets to fifth out three wide as Dunfool and makes ground and works to an early lead. Graham T settles down about sixth and one off the fence from Dreamy Express. Laminated clear. Clever Princess third last. Second last is Grain Store Flyer and Traverse Low Bell dropped out to the tail around the turn and racing deep as Shadow Warrior going forward. So too is Traverse Low Bell from last. Early in the race, the favourites now set a light out three wide and making ground at the 1800. Could catch them napping. In fact, it will. Traverse Lobel has come from last to first in a twinkling of an eye. Caught them napping. And Traverse Lobel leads two circuits out by six metres to Dunfoolin. Third, five metres away on the rail as rolls and rolls. Fourth without cover, Shadow Warrior. Two metres away on the inside as Cloudy Range, followed by Marquita Expo. Then Graham T on the outside. Out of the straight they race at the 1600. In behind them came Dreamy Express. Five metres to Laminated Clear, Clever Prince. And six metres away, Grain Store Flyer. Halfway along the back and the leader is Traverse Lobel. He wants to go a lot faster. He's six metres clear. Dunfool in a clear second. Five metres away, Shadow Warrior. He's caught without cover, having little luck on his inside as rolls and rolls. Then Marquita Expo with cover. A metre back on the rail as Cloudy Range. Then Graham T. Dreamy Express is travelling five back on the fence, two metres to laminated clear, Clever Prince's second last and Grain Store Flyer still last a good 40 metres had cover the field approaching the turn at the 1100 and the leader is Traverse Lobel he's got them off the bit by five metres to Dunfoolin, three metres away Shadow Warrior, he's worked in the run followed by Rolls and Rolls, Mark Hitter Expos had a handy run, fifth on the outside followed by Cloudy Range then Graham T, four metres away Clever Prince, who's second last on the inside of, on the outside, Grain store flyer and the two ahead of it are grain store flyer on the inside in fact dreamy express on the inside of laminated clear and pulling out now is grain store flyer out of the straight they race towards the 650 it's still traverse low bell in front still by six or eight meters to dunfool on the inside of shadow warrior then rolls and rolls followed by marketer expo pulling out coming out in front of grain store flyer graham t in behind them then cloudy range laminated clear dreamy express second last coming off the fence and up on the outside is clever prince but traverse low bell he comes to the home turn 300 meters out six or eight meters in front of dunfool and he's steadily making ground eight meters away rolls and rolls getting to third the inside shadow warrior gone with marquita expo grain store fly not going well laminated clear pulls to the outside and dreamy express not in the race but traverse low bell at the 140 still three meters in front of dunfool and trying very hard rolls and rolls gets to third traverse low bell getting tied he's a meter in front dunfool and trying very hard but rita burnett has pinched it on traverse low bell full on us and traverse low bell wins by a meter to dunfool and Third tight, four metres away, either Dreamy Express or Cloudy Range. Rolls and rolls close up, followed by Laminated Clear. Then Graham T, Clever Prince, and behind them came Grain Store Flyer, Marquita Expo, and last in was Shadow Warrior. Thank you very much, Brian. And uh... Gate turns the corner, they're set. Blue light up, and they're off at racing, and pay as you go. Got out smartly on the inside. Blue gum, Marty began well. Captain Monet paced away nicely tonight, and coming across as Star City at the post the first time. Also fairly away as 112 showing good speed to get up into a handy spot followed by another tie. Rasharama settles back worse at midfield on the turnout of the straight and back with it is a volley Dal. On the inside is Olympic Fire and last of all is Chance Minbar. Into the back straight the first time heading on towards the mile peg. Pay as you go is the leader by a length to Star City moving up to be second. Third on the inside is Blue Gum Marty followed then by Captain Monet landing with the one by one. 1-1-2 one, one, is right behind it, then came another tie, followed by Rasharama, who's taking off and going around them three wide. Then another tie is a fair way back, Olympic Fire on its inside, followed by Chance Minbar and a volley Dallas at the tail of the field. On the top corner, 1,400 metres left to go. Pay as you go, join in the lead by Rasharama. One length away, third, Blue Gum Marty, and then Star City getting a trail for the first time. A length further back behind it is Captain Monet as they race up towards the home corner, followed by 1-1-2. Through on the inside, Olympic 5, then came Chance Minbar, another tie and a volley Dal. Into the stretch to get the bell. One lap left to go. Pay as you go is the leader. Rasharama making it work, setting up second. Blue Gum Marty is third as they come down the home stretch. Doesn't appear to be a great deal of speed on. One by one is Star City as they go by the judge. Followed on the inside, making ground Olympic fire. On its outside is Captain Monet. A length further back then, two chance Minbar. One, one, two, another tie and a volley Dallas last. 
After the bell, they head towards the back. Pay as you go as the leader. Rasharama sitting up second. Blue Garmati's had a nice run on the leader's back. Then came Star City, followed by Captain Monet, who's travelled well throughout. Right on its back is 1-1-2. Olympic Fire on the rail. Then Chance Minbar, another tie. A volley down last and 10 lengths off the lead as they head up towards the top corner. 600 metres left to go. Pay as you go by a half to Rasharama. Flicked along with a whip. Here's Star City peeling out three wide to start a run. Coming into it nicely is Captain Monet, followed by Blue Garmati. And then 1-1-2 and a fair way back to Chance Minbar in the middle of the circle now. With 300 metres left to go on the inside. Pay as you go, the leader. Rasharama flat to the boards. In in second spot and then Star City and here's Captain Monet to the outside followed by 112 and Blue Gum Marty they're homeward bound and pay as you go the leader Rasharama is grinding away on the outside trying to pick him up and then Star City but still the leader is pay as you go Rasharama trying very hard but pay as you go's just in front drawing to the post and he's just lasted pay as you go pay as you go scored by a neck to Rasharama Third home may have been Blue Gamati from 112, followed by Star City. Out deep on the track, Captain Monet had every chance tonight. Then came a Volleydale chance, Minbar. Another tie was back at the tail of the field. Bar one just getting in now, Olympic fire. When will be number one? Hello, I'm Cheryl Hendry from the Henley Beach Hotel. With the beers nice and cold and the service is great. We have great facilities. We've got Tab, Kino, Sky Channel, cheap counter meal six days a week, live band in the beer garden on Sundays. So come on down and have a nice cold beer with a nice beach scenery. Ready to go for race two there, racing and beginning well was Oak Ben Hands on the outside, driving up was Able Dreamer, Bowman, Bayland out wide, Red Amerigo from Revon Mantuck just off the speed. Out very wide was Duchess Tiffany from Master Brody on the fence and three last of all was Diaming. Down the back it's Able Dreamer by a length and a half on Red Amerigo second. Two lengths third was Bowman Bale, three for the back, Revon Man followed by Oak Ben Hands from Duchess Tiffany, Master Brody and four last was Diaming. To the home turn, Able Dreamer out wide, the fence, Red Amerigo, Red Amerigo claim Able Dreamer, Red Amerigo doing too well. Red Amerigo by a long neck on second. Able Dreamer, third Bowman Bale, followed by Revon Man, Duchess, Tiffany Oak, Ben, hands behind those. Master Brody, and last of all was Diaming. Eight, two, and one, the placings. Are the rail from New South Wales. They're off at Globe Derby. Black began quickly, trying to get across Miss Innocence, which drives up for the moment. What a waft Tam was away well. Mighty Black goes to the lead from What a waft Tam, Miss Innocence. Now Satan Commands is up three wide. It has Weona Kenny four wide. Spare Courts in the centre. Celestial Charms also out wide, but she's actually held up behind those two out wide for the moment. Fly Past is in the centre. Final Edition back on the inside. And Oliver Wather was last on settling down. Well, the three of the favourites are all out deep as they come into the straight the first time. Mighty Black joined by What a Waftam and Satan Commands going on with it out three wide. Celestial Charm quickly darts in in front of Spare Quarters. They race out of the straight. Miss, Miss Innocence on the rails as What a Waftam has gone to the lead. Spare Quarter and it are now three back. Then final addition on the rails cover, covering it up was Fly Past. The lead time 46.5. Six metres then to Oliver Wather and Weona Kenny has eased out of it. Racing into the back a lap and three quarters from home and What a Waftam led two metres to Satan Commands. Now with the 1-1 one, one trail, Celestial Charm. On the rails behind the leader is Mighty Black. Three back on the inside, Miss Innocence. On its outside in turn was Spare Court. Then four metres to Final Edition. Around it, Fly Past. Four metres away then to Oliver Wather. And Weona Kenny was at the tail. Halfway around the top turn, just over a lap and a quarter from home. And uh, the leader is uh, still what a waft -am. First quarter was 31.5 as we get it off the new semaphore board tonight. On the outside, running second, Satan Commands, but it's had a tough run. Mighty Black behind them. Celestial Charms had a trial for a lap, but flushed out now by uh, Fly Pass coming three deep. Spare Court's under pressure. Miss Innocence held up. Weona Kenny follows Fly Pass. They've again been able to drop in, or Celestial Charm has for a few strides anyway. Final addition on the rails behind Miss Innocence and Oliver Wather on the outside. Heading towards the back, second quarter, 31. 
1.8 and the leader is what a waft tam by three meters satan commands but celestial charm is coming quickly and she races to them eight meters fly past and weona kenny running on from back in the pack oliver wather also making ground from final edition coming off the back satan commands and celestial charm they've drawn about 12 meters in front of fly past and weona kenny still running on and further back then oliver wather it's still satan commands the inside celestial charms had the slightly easier run we own a kenny is about 10 meters away and running a bit of a race and oliver wather from fly past celestial charm puts the head clear now from satan commands well clear of we own a kenny and oliver wather celestial charm a meter in front satan commands fights on pretty well but the uh, filly or the mare too good celestial charm a meter and a half to satan commands 10 meters away we own a kenny, uh, kenny quite a useful run from fly past oliver wather made ground then final edition what a off tam spare cord miss innocence and a long last mighty black thank you peter and the favor doing it uh, nicely there celestial charm wearing he could lead all the way they said to go for race number one racing now Good dispatch. On the outside, best out was Hyperbolism. Went to the lead from Sonic Image early. Going to third was Red Boeing Jet. And then came two lengths to the Reserve Nations bid and reject. Might tonight bear Satay and Jans Clover. Down the back, Hyperbolism leads the way. Sonic Image is second. They're out by two lengths to Red Boeing Jet. Four to Nations bid on the corner. Hyperbolism's the leader. Sonic Image is trying hard. Red Boeing Jet runs on. The leader, though, was Hyperbolism. Sonic Image and Hyperbolism. Sonic Image, good up to him the first. Sonic Image on the outside got there from Hyperbolism. Third Red Boeing Jet followed by Jan's Clover Nation's bid and then a long break in the field to Might Tonight and Bear Satay and there's one tailed off after getting into trouble. Reject. Photo call four after... Slowly away, whereas Fancy's Queen pops to lighter, showing early speed. Ronzel Rooster out wide, gets to third. Carstens is back on the fence, trying to keep them out, but can't. No a lot of scouting deep in the centre is minted, followed by Just Council off the fence. In behind them, Transporter Concentric. Second last is Haughty High, and Abby's Pride dropped out to last. Pops to light in front around the turn early by four metres to Fancy's Queen. Minted is racing three wide and going forward. Then Ronzel Rooster fifth on the outside. Cast ends the leaders back early. Concentric the fence trailed up by Haughty High. Then Just Council as Minted on the outside is now tackling Pops Delight for the lead and gets there quite comfortably at the 1800. Minted now worked to a clear lead of six metres. Settling down third last is Abby's Pride on the inside of Transporter and Noah Lott is eight metres away. Out of the straight they race and from second last now, Transporter, he peels around the outside three wide. They race towards the 1600 and they drop anchor. Minted in front by four and a half metres to Pops Delight, a clear second behind the leader. Cast ends back on the rail three back of around the outside Transporter, who works up to third, sits up within six metres of the leader and faces the breeze. Fancy's Queen with cover now one by one, followed by Concentric. Ronzel Roost to the running line, Haughty High on the rail. Just Council third last, second last Abbey's Pride, and know a lot on the outsiders last. 30 metres had cover the field at the 1400 and the leader is minted, inclined to loaf in front by 5 metres to Transporter, who now works up to the leader's wheel clearly, a metre back and third as Pops Delight, then Fancy's Queen fourth. The running line is cast ends, three back, two metres to Ronzel Rooster, three back on the outside, then Concentric, two metres to Just Council, Haughty High, and four metres away, Abby's Pride, last on the inside of Noah Lot. A thousand to go down the straight, minted in front. I really think he possibly goes better with uh, a sit and a sprint than in front because really from the outset he's been inclined to loaf. He's throwing his head about momentarily minted. With a lap to go at the 800, he's two metres in front. Of on the outside, Transporter. Two metres away, third pops to light. Then Fancy's Queen on a loose rein. Carsten's back on the fence, followed by Ronzel Rooster, always handy outside Concentric. Four metres to Just Council. Haughty High bailed away. Noah Lott second last and last is Abby's Pride. Towards the 600 down the back. He's racing better now, minted. He's over four metres in front of Transporter. Reined up on the outside of Pops Delight. Then Fancy's Queen outside cast ends in behind them concentric on the fence followed by Ronzel Rooster just counsel haughty high Noah Lott and Abbey's pride at the 400 before the turn minted still over four meters
Pinkett is in front. Now five, now six to Transporter on the outside of Pops Delight. In behind them, Fancy's Queen. Ronzel Rooster pulls to the outside, making some ground. Concentric comes off the fence from Just Council. Cast ends, then Haughty High. Know a lot and out the back as Abby's Pride. At the 150, though, mended over four metres in front. Pops Delight gets into second placing. Down the outside, Fancy's Queen boxing on from Transporter. But minted clear and minted too good for them. Minted wins by three metres to Pops Delight. Three and a half metres away, third Fancy's Queen. Transporter close up with Concentric and Cast Ends. Just Council out wide. In behind them came Haughty High, followed by Noah Lod Ronzel Rooster. And last in was Abby's Pride. Thank you very much there. The boxes. Ready. They're racing. Homeboy began well likewise. Red flight from Strong Blade beaten for early speed. In the middle, Witches Cave followed by Tandad. Two out wide. Two Vicks Hibiscus. Strong Blade shuttered back to second last. And last of all was any tradition. Stringing out out of the straight. It's Homeboy out by two. Red flight to second. Third Tandad two. Three further back to Ambrose Call from Witches Cape and Vicks Hibiscus. Any tradition second last. And three last of all was Strong Blade. At the top turn, Homeboy still in charge by two. Red flight to second. Third the outside, Tandad two three for the back ambrose call in the straight it's homeboy in front red flight and on the outside tandad two they hit it homeboy in front tandad two claimed it photo homeboy or tandad two third red flight followed by behind those ambrose call from strong blade vix hibiscus witches cape and any tradition thank you rod and it's a photo there race three at uh, penrith between homeboy and tandad two three and eight starting to move up at newcastle here's an update for albion parks first race two to one Trained and driven by John Justice, who has this fellow really flying at the moment. 11. From out deep at the judge, the first time is like magic. There's a great charge into that first corner. Aussie go behind those as court three wide, followed by Carton Court, who's out of his gear. He's galloping back through the field, being passed on the inside by Caesar's Halo. A fair way back to City Final. And then behind them came uh, Circus Maximus Von Stedden, still galloping Carton Court's right out of business. Down the back the first time, past the mile peg, and Ronald John is the leader. Shows out by three parts of a length to like Magic Court without cover. Master Paulsborough tucked away third on the inside of Tippo. One length further back to Caesars Halo, making ground on the inside of Aussie Go, who's three back in the running line, being trailed up by City Final. One length further back to Circus Maximus, and then came Vonstead, and you can forget about Carden Court, tailed off about 50 metres last, up towards the home corner. Bell at the judge this time, and Ronald John is rolling along in the lead. Master Paulsborough is getting a charmed run in second spot, followed further back on the inside by Caesars Halo as they turn the corner. One length further back then as they come down the home stretch is like magic on the outside. A length and a half further back to Tiffo over on the rails is City Final. Then came Aussie Go, Circus Maximus, Vonstead and forget Carden Court. They've got one lap left to go in the Coca-Cola Spring Cup and going past the judge. Ronald John is the leader. Ronald John takes them to the turn out of the straight. A length and a half master Paulsborough. Like magic sliding up on the outside without cover followed by Caesar's Halo. Getting a trail forward on the outside is Tiffo and then came Aussie Go. Over on the rail next is City Final. A length further back to Circus Maximus as the field starts to pack up and Vonstead last of the main bunch. Down the back they race 7.50 to run and still the leader Ronald John held together. Like magic second Tiffo peels out three wide to start a run. Master Paulsborough's bailed up on the fence behind the leader can't get out. Aussie Go goes three wide to start a run on the outside, followed by Caesar's Halo, further back to Circus Maximus, and then came City Final and Vonstead, only five lengths first to last as they come off the back, Ronald John, Wilson looks pretty confident, Ronald John about a length in front, Master Paulsborough can't get out as they straighten up and then like magic, Ronald John held together just the leader, on the outside like magic, Master Paulsborough's climbing all over them, he's sticking to the inside and trying to squeeze through and flying home down the outside is City Final, he'll beat them all City Final, City Final with a brilliant turn of speed has got up to score second home pretty close I think maybe Tiffo from Master Paulsborough, Ronald John galloping past the post and then Caesars Halo Aussie go, Circus Maximus Vonstead like magic and Carden Court was last home in the Coca-Cola Spring Cup David Watson, the driver. Lunar Relto and really rock and drawn on the 10. Strands fly racing and Dunveen from the inside began well. 
Dreamy Bye Bye galloped off the mark and Apache Dart came off the line quickly. Another leader slow to go and drifts back through the field as Dunveen leads on the first bend. Apache Dart moved up on the outside to tackle him for the front. Dreamy Bye Bye third. Two and a half lengths to Benson Boy, two to Merchant Joe, followed by Lunar Alto. Then another leader, Paragon Pete second last and really rockens a length away at the tail of the field. Apache Dart in front as they move to the tea trees the first time. And as they head down the back, Apache Dart leads by a length and a half over Dunveen and a length and a half to Dreamy Bye Bye third. Two lengths to Benson Boy, followed by Merchant Joe. Paragon Pete slides up on the outside of Lunar Alto. Really rocking on the back of Paragon Pete and another leader is two lengths away at the tail of the field. They're at the 2400 metres peg. Apache Dart shows the way. Dunveen second, sitting on the back of the leader. Dreamy Bye Bye third and then Benson Benson Boy on the outside of Merchant Joe and Paragon Pete's now at three deep. Now Benson Boy got into trouble there. He threw his head in the air, put in a few rough strides. Really rocking third last on the outside of Lunar Alto and another leader last as they round the bend. They're inside the 22. They've almost completed a lap. Apache Dart one in front. Paragon Pete now strides up into second spot. Dunveen third behind the leader. Dreamy Bye Bye came away from the fence. He's one out and one back on the outside of Merchant Joe. A length away is Benson Boy, followed by Lunar Elto, then really rocking, and another leader's last as they make the turn out of the straight. Apache Dart's been in front for a lap now, and as they head towards the 1800 metres mark, it's Apache Dart showing the way to Dunveen on the inside of Paragon Pete. Dreamy Bye Bye's fourth, one out, one back on the outside of Merchant Joe. Benson Boy on the hammer of Dreamy Bye Bye, Lunar Elto corralled on the rail, then really rocking, and another the leader whipped them in as they move past the mile marker. Down the back of the track, Apache Dart a touch more than a length in front of Paragon Pete. Dunveen's a half length away third. Dreamy Bye Bye still one out, one back on the outside of Merchant Joe. Then Benson Boy followed by Lunar Alto really rocking. And another leader last at the 1300 metres peg. Apache Dart one in front. Paragon Pete is second. Dunveen third and then Dreamy Bye Bye followed by Merchant Joe, then Benson Boy, Lunar Alto really rocking, and still another leaders at the tail of the field. 31 for the first quarter of the last mile of the race, and Apache Dart shows the way down the stretch. Leads by a length over Paragon Pete, who's been in the breeze for a long, long way. Dunveen third on the back of the leader, and keen to go a little faster. Another length away is Dreamy Bye Bye, sitting in the one out, one back around Merchant Joe. Then Benson Boy, Lunar Alto, really rocking second last, and another leader is last as they turn to the back. They're at the 750, 30.6 for the second section of the mile. Apache Dart shaken up a little. One in front of Paragon Pete, one to Dunveen on the fence, then Dreamy Bye Bye, followed by Merchant Joe, Benson Boy, really rocking, Lunar Alto, and another leader still at the tail of the field. Apache Dart leads by one to Paragon Pete at the 420. Dunveen sitting on their backs needs luck. Dreamy Bye Bye's had a lovely run, he's yet to peel. Followed by Merchant Joe, Benson Boy wide, then really rocking, Lunar Alto, and another leader. Dreamy Bye Bye going now as a Apache Dart shows the way onto the bend. 200 to run, Apache Dart, one to Paragon Pete. Dreamy bye-bye on the outside. Benson Boy four wide when they turn. Apache Dart led at the 100 metres mark from Dreamy bye-bye. Dunveen into the clear, but Apache Dart's pinched a break. And Apache Dart wins. Apache Dart first, Dunveen second, Benson Boy third. Then Dreamy bye-bye. 5-1-3, five, 5-1-3. One, five, one, Ready to go, racing. Good dispatch. Down on the inside, V. Lyca and Fox Print have left nicely from Indominium. Mickey Marlow getting along the rails. Oh, getting uh, held up there and badly checked was V. Lyca. Warren's Fly moving through Al Murzo as well back in the field. And uh, back with it on the inside was Silverball Lad. Down the back now, along the rails, Mickey Marlow has joined Jackie Fox in front. They're out by three lengths to Indominium. Fox Print behind those Warren's Flyer and Silverball Lad. Mickey Marlow led from Jackie Fox who comes at it. Indominium wide out. Jockey, uh, Jackie Fox took the lead and Jackie Fox got up to beat, I think, in the minium. Mickey Milo uh, nose away third. Right up behind those was Fox Print, Warren's Flyer, Silver Ball Lad from Al Murzo, and it was one of the last with the Leica. Another photo in the second race of the night. <laughs> Perfect.
plenty of ibby dibby at Wentworth Park tonight, that's for sure. The lucky dogs. We've got our next race from Globe Derby. And uh, yes, glamour galore at Wentworth Park for the lucky dog uh, national sprint grand final. And yes, Smith would race two. Newey Advance began very quickly. Trying to go with it is Ashley Ladd, but Newey Advance has the speed to get across and lead easily. Ashley Ladd on the outside of Eskimo Prince driving up behind the leader. New decade away well from the second row, but caught three wide. On the outside, vote no. Back in behind runners, see me motor as they steady up quickly on top. Further back in the field, then two shades of purple. Settling well back, our guardianship and Enola Gay, which is easing out to the tail. Into the straight they come the first time around, and the the leader is Newey Advance by three metres in second placing now without cover New Decade. Eskimo Prince with the good trial behind the leader and Ashley Ladd now has the 1-1. Three back the rail, see me motor, a couple of metres then two vote no. Four metres shades of purple around Enola Gay lead time is only 48 seconds and last of all at this point was Guardianship. Heading towards the back straight and the favourite getting an easy run on top. Newey Advance didn't have to do that much work to find the lead. And it's had a pretty easy first lap. Three metres clear in second placing on the outside. New Decade. Eskimo Prince with the trail behind the leader. One out and one back then is Ashley Ladd racing around the stable mate. Simi Motor. Four metres to a vote no. It's around Enola Gay. The last two are both racing one off and they are shades of purple and guardianship. Off the back straight now under a lap and a half left left to run and Newey Advance still led by a couple of metres in second placing on the outside New Decade in behind the Eskimo Prince first quarter 32.9 then Ashley Ladd which has had a pretty good trail Simi Motor needs luck from the inside Guardianship takes off from the back moves around vote no Enola Gaze on the inside and Shades of Purple still at the tail leader will have no excuses Newey Advance is travelling well as they go to the judge a lap to run let a metre New Decade getting a bit closer now Eskimo Eskimo Prince has had the great trial, but it's in the pocket. Ashley Ladd running fourth. Simi Motor nowhere to go. Guardianship struggles a little out. Three wide around vote no. Then Enola Gay and last of all shades of purple. They sped up a little to 31.9 the second quarter as they go into the back past the 600. Newey Advance travelling very well by a couple of metres in second placing. New Decade still there. On the rails, Eskimo Prince can't get out. Three wide comes Ashley Ladd. On the inside, Simi Motor, he stays on the rail. Guardianship gallop there around it went shades of purple and then Enola Gay and Vote No coming off the back straight. Still Newey Advance held together led three metres to Ashley Ladd now he came off the rails on Simi Motor and pulls wide. Eskimo Prince is getting into the clear if good enough and wide out shades of purple. Enola Gay getting up behind them into the straight though. Newey Advance the leader. Eskimo Prince gets its chance on the outside then further back Simi Motor. Eskimo Prince is cutting down Newey Advance and Eskimo Prince is going to be too good. Eskimo Prince wins a meter, Newey Advance second, tight for third, nothing in it. Simi Motor or Enola Gay, uh, they were clear of Ashley Ladd, shades of purple, then vote no. Further back in the field then uh, is New Decade and Guardianship last in. Eskimo Prince. Green light, bunny up to the boxes, ready for start race four. They're set and racing, beginning beautifully on the outside. Dawn Star, but pacing it with it as Leading Lady, although Dawn Star raced away down the side. Shot five in front of Leading Lady, second. Third, the outside, Meadow Madness, followed by You Go Quick, and two further back to Super Fit. The inside is Great Divide, and two last of all is Roseanne. Out of the straight, Dawn Star on the bunny has opened them up, leads by ten to the back. Second, You Go Quick, third was Meadow Madness, followed by Leading Lady, and also Great Divide. Two further back to Roseanne, second last, and last Super Fit. At the top turn, though, it's all Dawn Star. Dawn Star out by eight. Second, you go quick. Third was Meadow Madness. Behind those came Great Divide from Roseanne. But at the home turn, a hollow victory coming up for Dawn Star racing well clear. Dawn Star making a mess of them. Wins by 15. Dawn Star first, Great Divide second. Photo third might be Roseanne just in front of Meadow Madness from you go quick and leading lady. Last of all was super fit. And that was a good win indeed. Ready. Green lights on there racing. Good start out wide, Young Astaire showing speed, so too is, that's true. Bella Rhythm from one is trying to keep them out, just in behind them, Turf Man and Excella Fella, as that's true, finds the early lead. In behind them, Chevy Blue Chip, followed by Sertina. 
Boomerang Boy settles down third last from Classy Fella, and Scotty Vic on the fence is last. Young Astaire works around the outside and heads off the early leader out of the straight towards the back of the 1600. That's true. Six metres away third, but out three wide is Excella Fella. In the centre is Turf Man, the fence is Bella Rhythm, followed by Chevy Blue Chip. Four metres to Scotty Vic, Boomerang Boy third last from Classy Fella, and eight metres away Certina. At the lap and a half mark, and Young Astaire is in front. Hare's now letting loose Classy Fella from second last out wide. On the fence and racing second behind the leader, that's true. Without cover, Excella fellow momentarily. Classy Feller is the one out three wide making ground, followed by Turf Man, the outside of Bella Rhythm. Racing up on the outside now is Chevy Blue Chip off Scotty Vic. Boomerang Boy patiently driven second last and five metres away, Certina. At the top of the straight towards the 1,050 and the leader is Young Astaire by five metres. Class